What is the crack lads and welcome back to another player review. Today we're taking a look at the AC Milan epic players and to be honest these are quite good. These are quite good. I would say that Ronaldinho and Cafu are definitely up there with some of the best cards out there at the moment. I would say that Cafu is probably the pick of the bunch here and we're going to get into that in a second over on eFootballDB.com. But first, we will take a look at the players. So these are in the AC Milan Epic Club Pack or Epic um, Pack, where you have 147 players from the Serie A as well. So you have Chiesa, you have Mike uh, Mignan, you have Hernandez, Quadrado, you have all these players here from the uh, Serie A, and then you have your three Epic Legends. So we are going to actually start with Ronaldinho, and I'm going to show you guys Ronaldinho, his stats, everything like that, and then I'm going to give you a little bit of a comparison of somebody that you could buy with GP because not everyone wants to obviously spin uh, for for players or whatever and buy coins um, and let me know whether you are going to spin or skip this one but I do think that this Ronaldinho card is very very good now the one thing I will say lads is his standard form he is going to have a B rating so that's not going to be a massive issue but I have his legend card and sometimes Ronaldinho is down now he's never like fully down or anything like that he's usually like you know like um, normal arrow or you know second best arrow but yeah that is something to keep in mind if you are going after this Ronaldinho card but other than that I mean you don't need to know anything more than it, you know it is Ronaldinho he's an absolute demon and he's probably one of the best AMFs in the game I would say he practically got me division one status back in eFootball 2022 when it first launched he was incredible i think with the way the gameplay has gone at the moment because he has got really high balance and stuff that it was coming to the fore with eFootball 22 but i think now because of you know the gameplay in eFootball 23 where every player just literally ta tackles you like wwe it can be hard for this guy to shine it's more about i think kind of getting the ball quick and moving it quick so that is how we would actually train up ronaldinho if we were going to play with him so over on eFootballDB.com, this is how i've trained him right you can get his dribbling up to like 97 very easily um but I would definitely train him up this way. So I would put his acceleration to about 85, 86, keep his speed at 79, 80. And then you're just going to like boost up his passing, his dribbling. Look at that balance. Look at that dribbling and look at that acceleration. Couple that with his passing. Absolutely insane. Now the... The, the thing about Ronaldinho is you are going to want to play him in specific positions. You know, even though he has got 86 acceleration, he's got good dribbling, he's not going to be playing on your wing. Like, he's more, you know, in the hole kind of player. Um, he does have some nice finishing, you know, animations as well that you're able to actually get with him. He's able to have a really nice curl shot. You see 81 curl there. Now, if we're talking about getting a player for GP, right, I would definitely recommend Neymar. Neymar's top five players in the game, in my opinion. His legend card that uh, released in his ambassador pack is probably the best card around, I would still say. And when we boost him up, we've trained him as similarly as possible to Ronaldinho. I would train him slightly different, but they've both got the exact same speed. The offensive awareness is way down here. You can see Ronaldinho's is 81, or not way down, but they are very similar in that. The only thing that's down is kind of the passing. Like you can have the passing more similar, but you are going to have to struggle in with the dribbling. And you just see how good Ronaldinho is when you look at this card and Neymar's card combined now Neymar I think is more of a winger he's more of a cut back in kind of player um, and he also does have standard form but these cards if you are looking for a GP alternative to Ronaldinho play Neymar in the hole and he won't let you down they're extremely similar players in how they play um, so that is something to keep in mind I would say for you guys if you are thinking of buying Ronaldinho or trying to spin for him next up we do have Cafu we're going to start with Cafu now when I first saw this card I was like oh my god 82 overall but he's got he's got a whopping 39 levels to go lads absolutely insane amount of levels that you can boost him up for um and I think right back is a bit of a problem area. I think that we've got a lot of really decent left backs, but I see a lot of people kind of using center backs as their like third man option. So three center backs with the right back, traditionally that should be a right back. He's kind of used as a third center back because you need that little bit of coverage. A lot of people do attack down the flanks um, every now and again. It's not as, you know, it's not going to be the same as uh, or as strong of a tactic as playing through the middle, but I think Kimmich is who I have right back and he has been good for me but I've often played Maldini there I've played Marquinhos I've played a couple of different players I think you're covered at left back a little bit more but if you look at Cafu's stats here lads they are absolutely insane so he's got unwavering form 
He's got B rating. He's got man marking. He's got a load of different on ball skills as well, which is always handy. Early crosser and speeding bullet. But looking at his card here, it's a very average when you look at it there um, because he's all in the low 70s but when we actually go over to eFootball DB and we train him up look at what you can actually do with this card now one of the biggest highlights of this card in my opinion is the defensive awareness right don't worry too much about the speed and acceleration because he is a defender you don't need to be bombarding up like you would be with you know maybe Alfonso Davies or Roberto Larcos um, on the left but yeah, his defense is his his key attribute here and it's his, his key strength, right? Ball control, passing and strength are fine. Those categories are fine. You don't really need to train him up too much. I would touch up his speed acceleration and then I would pump and bump every single thing into defensive uh, awareness and defensive engagement and everything that you can to get those points up. Aggression, acceleration and defensive awareness is what you need for your right backs, especially if you put man marking on him you're just going to give the wingers an absolute torrid time because the meta formation at the moment is 3-4-3 or else 3-3-4. So you are going to be getting a lot of um, one-on-ones with Cafu and he will come out on top more often than not. Now, if you don't have the GP or you don't have the coins to buy somebody like absolutely insane, you could take a look at Pavard, right? Pavard, again, he's got three form, unwavering form, 70,000 GP, absolute steal. 35 levels and he trains up very similar to Cafu he's not obviously going to be as fast as him and his dribbling and passing is a little bit less his strength is a little bit less if you see Cafu's here uh, with his stamina and stuff but defensively he's very solid 90 defensive awareness and as a right back he won't let you down either a little bit slower than Cafu but not by much and I definitely think he's worth a look if you do have 70,000 GP flying around and you try to spin for Cafu and you don't get him, but you're looking for somebody that is very decent. He is on C form this week, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, then, you know, it's it's obviously going to be it's obviously going to be an issue if he's on C form. But moving on from Cafu, lads, we do have last but not least Sadarf, one of my favorite players growing up. Actually, I absolutely loved him. He was just a box to box, like energetic bunny flying around the place, like a brilliant player, brilliant passer of the ball as well. Really, really strong um, physically and kind of like in that role of um, that Milan needed just to be, you know, like a beastly midfielder, kind of like Gattuso, kind of a little bit more about him on the ball, obviously, than Gattuso. But yeah, kind of like a Stevie G um, type player of how Stevie G did play at a time for Liverpool in that position, kind of like covering every blade of grass or Michael Essien or someone like that. So this guy started it all. I think he was one of the one of the original guys back in the 90s. But anyway, we do have Sadarf here, who again looks absolutely insane there. He looks really nice. He's got really, really good uh, player skills. He does have captaincy, blocker, sliding, tackle, interception. He does only have standard form, which again, a lot of these cards are very well balanced, I would say. And speaking of balance, you can see there that they are uh, balanced a little bit, even excessively, I would say, not to have him too overpowered because he's got 68 balance and 67 acceleration. But when we actually go over to look at this guy and what he can train up to we've got 75 speed 75 acceleration 80 offensive awareness 80 defensive awareness and then 90 low pass and then high 70s with the dribble and ball control um offensive awareness as i said and he's also got some nice passing stats kicking power and physical contact and stamina so if you're looking for somebody to cover every blade of grass and especially what i would do is if you have your starting 11 say you have your top 11 that you play with all the time that are in a form or b form this week or whatever and you've them trained to the max, bring it on Sadarf off the bench, lads, with, you know, 70 minutes gone, whether you're chasing a game or you're holding on to a game, he will cause serious, serious issues in midfield, because the game at the moment is all about stopping the ball, getting through the passing lanes and running into players and stuff like that. That is just the way the game plays at the moment. Some are enjoying it, some aren't. I'm having fun with it, even though I can see a lot of issues with it. But it is all about playing the game the way the game is meant to be played. The game, the way the game wants you to play it is like quick zippy passes. Um, try spread it out every now and again. But yeah, I would definitely like to get Sadarf and Cafu, but that is it for me, lads, with another player review. Let me know what you guys think. Will you spin or skip? And don't forget to check out the other videos on the channel as well, including the free player of the week one this week as well. I will talk to you later, lads. Peace.